there are people that like to say mean, inaccurate things like co-washing your hair is the same as getting in the shower and washing up with lotion. That is not true. Please stop saying that. You are ruining the community. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Bay, and today I wanna to talk to you about co-washing. Co-washing is something that I kinda of stayed away from for a very long time. I tried it once and it really made my scalp very itchy. I didn't realize at the time that I had a sensitive scalp. And so it's something I slowly got back into recently, especially with the seasons changing, the weather getting colder, it's getting harder to retain moisture. And I thought, hey, this is gonna be a great time to share everything that I've learned with some people who still haven't really jumped onto that co-washing bandwagon. Before we get into the video, I always like to start off with a prayer. So if my brothers and sisters in Christ don't mind joining me, Dear Heavenly Father, forgive us all for all of our sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for each and every viewer you have brought to this video, Lord. I ask that you bless everyone watching to enjoy this video, to learn something new, to learn to love their hair, Lord Jesus, and to embrace their hair in every step of their journey. If they choose to use any of the products in this video, Lord, bless them with wonderful, beautiful results. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now let's get started. Wagon. So first let's go over what is co-washing. Co-washing is simply washing your hair with conditioner. 10 years ago, it was very accurate to say it's like washing your body with lotion, but today it's not like that at all. In fact, most products labeled as a co-wash or a cleansing conditioner or a gentle shampoo or a, uh, I just said cleansing conditioner, or a moisturizing shampoo, a lot of those products have cleansing agents in them. So they are purposely meant to cleanse your hair very gently, lift the dirt and lift the oils from your head and your scalp and lock in the moisture that's there and add more moisture into your hair. So co-washing your hair today with an actual co-wash is much different from what it was 10 years ago when the natural hair movement really was just kind of getting started um, in, the, in the big screen. There are people who've been natural all their lives, we know that, but in the last, five to 10 years, YouTube has blown up in the natural hair community. And so that's why co-washing is now in the spotlight the way that it is. So I have some co-washes here that I've been experimenting with for the past few months. Actually, I've used every product that I've mentioned more than once, more than twice, more than three times. So I'm giving you my honest opinion on it while I take this braid out out, which I should. So the very first one that I wanna talk about is probably the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. So Carol's Daughter Hair Milk is one of my favorite product lines from this brand. The hair milk line is really, really good. And I really like the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk because it is so moisturizing. If you've seen my video on my favorite leave-in conditioners, the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk leave-in lotion, hair lotion, is one of my favorites. It's absolutely moisturizing. One of the cons of this, however, you know, um, as far as pros and cons go, is super moisturizing, but the, the con is that just like the hair lotion, the leave-in lotion, the co-wash has no slip to it at all. So if you're someone who is looking for a product that will help you detangle your hair, this is not gonna be it. <laughs> but a co-wash should have more slip than a shampoo. Unfortunately, the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk, for me, does not but what it does have that i find really cool is that it's got these little tiny little exfoliating beads in the product if you um get a close-up on it let me see if i can show you real quick i hope you can see that tiny little exfoliating beads in the product so you can see the consistency is something that looks like it will have a lot of slip to it it's got that creamy silky texture to it but it's actually it's got no slip in it at all okay but i do love these little exfoliating beads that really gently scrub your scalp so you don't have to scratch and it lifts the dirt and the oils from and the the residue which if you're like me and you're always doing some sort of protective style i get a lot of residue i get a lot of build up product build up on my hair and scalp and so this this will get rid of the dirt don't you worry. This <laughs> is the Unwash Bio Cleansing Conditioner. So this one is actually, it's really good. I do like it. 
As you can see, the bottle is extremely tiny. There's not very much in it. It is two and a half ounces, and this cost me $20. Yes. It is superbly moisturizing. It is packed with slip. Unfortunately, here comes the con. Lots of great pros. The con, as far as the price goes, that's for you to determine. To me, it's a con, but it might not be for you. Unfortunately, it does not do a good job at cleaning your hair. That's not to say that if you have, you know, my texture or a looser curl pattern that you can't benefit from it. But for me personally, it wasn't very cleansing at all. It just, it felt like using conditioner on my hair. So I would use that as a pre-poo to detangle my hair. I would even use that as a conditioner after shampooing, but I would not use this to actually cleanse my hair. It's, this for me did not work. I liked it and I love it as a conditioner and as a moisturizing product, but I don't like it as a cleanser. Curl Smith Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. I think I did mention this in one of my videos. I reviewed the Curl Smith hair makeup where I dyed my hair red for about two weeks. If you have not seen that video, please go check it out. The link to that will be in the description box below as well as any other video that I've mentioned throughout this content. Uh, but this product is really good. It's really amazing. It's super moisturizing. It's got lots of slip to it. I really enjoyed it. And it actually does pair very well with the rest of the Curl Smith products. But again, just like the bio cleansing, one of the cons is that to me, it's a little pricey. This one was almost $20 as well. And it's just two ounces. So it's actually a half ounce less than the bio cleansing conditioner. Um, but around the same price, I believe it was like $18.99 for two ounces. I did not use it all. I think I've used it twice now and I didn't use it all. So it's not, you know, it's not something that if you're heavy handed, <laughs> you might not get many uses out of it, but I've used it a couple times and I still have some left. You, re you really don't need much. That's something I will say that it's got going for you. You really don't need much. However, I think it's a little expensive and it's not very cleansing. And so that's something that I've kind of noticed for products that are on the higher end of the market, more luxury brand type of things. They are super moisturizing. They have really great ingredients um, if you're paying attention to that sort of thing, but they don't cleanse your hair very well. Okay. The next one I want to talk about is going to be the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Now this co-wash says that it is the number one selling co-wash on the market. So I had to pick it up. I got it from Walmart for about $13. So it's right in the middle there. It's not too expensive and it's not too cheap. And I think it's it's 16 ounces. So it is well worth the money. And it is one of my personal favorites. I really do like the coconut co-wash. It smells amazing. The consistency is very good. And it is superbly cleansing. It's very cleansing. Like it almost strips you. <laughs> um... As far as the cons go, I have to say it is not as much slip as you might think, but it is enough for you to detangle your hair, okay? At least if you're someone who uses maybe a tangle teaser or your finger detangling, you're going to have a nice time in the shower with that. But I wouldn't whip out the wide tooth comb until later. <laughs> also, I liked it enough to try the Jamaican black castor oil co-wash by As I Am. And As I Am is one of my favorite uh, natural hair product lines, or brands, excuse me. They're one of my favorite brands. I really like a lot of their products. So I, I've, of course I had to try it. I didn't mind going back and buying the other kind that they had available. And that one is pretty much the same thing. I will say it's heavier because it's Jamaican black castor oil instead of coconut oil, but it is just as moisturizing and it has about the same amount of slip as the coconut co-wash. So you can detangle with it, you can depend on it to cleanse your hair, and you can depend on it to moisturize your hair. I think it's a well-rounded product. So the next co-wash on my list, I believe I have here is the Camille Rose Cleansing Milk. What I liked about this is that this co-wash works really well since it's it's maintain, um, it's built to maintain definition in your hair. It works really well for wash and goes. There's always a con and the drawback of this particular co-wash is that it is so thick. It's the consistency 
of a deep conditioner. I had to actually like open the top and dig around in there to get it to come out. The bottle is not very, it's not built for squeezing. It's pretty hard to squeeze. It's nice and thick, like a really good creamy deep conditioner. I finished, I've got one more recommendation for you guys. And this is the Cantu Shea Butter uh, complete conditioning co -op. Right off the back, it says it's got no sulfates, no silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. And that's really good, except one of the biggest drawbacks of this product is that it has no slip whatsoever. You may end up breaking your hair off if you try to detangle with this on your head. It's like, it's bad, okay? And I like it because it is 10 ounces for about five bucks. <laughs> it's super cheap and it's got a good ingredient list it doesn't have any of a, any of those bad things that you don't want going on your hair but it's got no slip to it it really actually feels like putting lotion on your hair but without the softening effect one of the pros that I like about this is that it is exceptionally cleansing it feels like using the African black soap shampoo that's been trending on YouTube for the past like month it's really it's stripping for, which for a cold wash is actually quite surprising so it's it's moisturizing but it's also stripping if you can understand what i'm saying um with something like camille rose i would go in the shower and use this and go straight to deep conditioning because that's how moisturizing it is cantu i would have to use a conditioner after using this product and then do a deep conditioning treatment. That's how cleansing it is. So it's more cleansing than conditioning versus something like unwashed, which is more conditioning and very little, if any, cleansing, okay? So these are six, seven if you count the two different as I am. So technically seven, but we'll just say six different co-washes that I recommend to you. And I have to say, if you are new to co-washing. If you have not co-washed your hair before or the last time you did it was with an actual conditioner, <laughs> the one that I would recommend to you most, I would say the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash is something that is right in the middle. It's super affordable. It's ease of access. I got it from Walmart, although I do believe it's also sold on Amazon if you're not going to the store right now. It has um it's cleansing and it's moisturizing if you're sensitive to coconut there is a jamaican black castor oil um version of it i guess and it's kind of a well-rounded treatment it's something that you don't have to follow up with a conditioner because it's that moisturizing it can help you detangle your hair but it also does a great job at lifting all the dirt and oil and the buildup from your hair and scalp I'm just happy that you're here and that you made it to the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you being here. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, comment, and subscribe. If not, that's okay. Thank you so much for giving me your time this far. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, God bless.